it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to be on a little bit different of a map. Today we are on Northwest Ohio version 4. Uh, I'm going to start this video off by saying two things. First, this map is not publicly released and will not be publicly released. Um, so there is no way of getting this map. Two, this is not replacing the Dad's Farm series. I'm still going to do the Dad's Farm series. I just also really wanted to play on this map and thought I'll also record that uh, and have a little bit extra stuff uh, for you guys to see. So in this episode, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with some fields. So we want 16, 17, and 18. And... 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Now, oh, um, yeah. Uh, we have a four and a half million dollar loan right now. So we're, uh, in debt a little bit. Um, this map does have animals. We're not going to do them right now. We may in the future, but for the time, we are not, um, so yeah, this is for uh, McClure, Ohio. I think that's how you say that. You got a nice little plow out front here. Very nice farm layout here as well. I see I have a shop door over here that needs to be closed. Alright, so we'll uh, start off. I'll give you guys a tour of the uh, equipment here. First off here, uh, in this little spot, we have my Meridian 990 Max uh, fuel trailer. In here we have the uh, 1990 Chevy Silverado, and then also the uh, one of the Silverados of Mercs. Um, I think like the 96 Dually or something like that. In this shed right here, we have a Demco 850 Green cart, we have a John Deere 8370R. Uh, here we have a versatile RT490 combine, um, a Ro Rostis, yes, a corn header. <laughs> it's a eight row corn head. Then if we go out back here, here we have a J&M header trailer and then Honeybee header. Um, let's run over here. Uh, here we have our grain hauling rigs. We have two Dakota 48 foot spread axle hopper trailers. We have a Volvo V NL670 and a Kenworth T800 high hood. Uh, both of these trucks are private. Uh, as is a few things I'm using on here. Um, if we go into the shop here, we got a uh, Xmark Laser Z mower for mowing the lawn. Uh, we have the latest version of the 4440. Uh, this version is not public yet, uh, but uh, it's very, very nice. It's come a long ways. Put our weights on it. Oops. Uh, we've got selectable weights and selectable duels. Don't need the duels, though. Uh, this is our mowing tractor. Uh, we got a Kuhn RM450 mower on the back of that. Uh, here we have our John Deere 8220. Um, and then if we go over here, we've got a Rogator 1386 sprayer with floater tires. Uh, we got a John Deere 2410 uh, cultivator, a Sunflower 9434 planter, and a John Deere 1770 planter. Um, this map does not have soil mods, so we don't need all of those tools. 
Uh, here we have a Pete 351, a Meridian Seed Express 1260 uh, for our seed hauling needs, and a uh, Dura Haul trailer for all of our chemical hauling needs. So, um, we're going to start off. We're going to get started on planting. So, we need our tractor here. Uh, what button is it? No. Oh, we need to enable IC for that. We're going to open up this shed door here. And then we're going to go ahead and hook on to the uh, sunflower drill for now. Because we're going to go ahead and put some wheat in. Uh, we're going to put field 15 in as wheat, I think. No. Field 15 will do corn, so we'll do 12, 13, 14 all in wheat. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open this door up. And another reason why I'm doing this series is because I haven't uh, done a whole lot on Dad's Farm since the last video. And I wanted to start playing on this map today, and I was like, well, why not uh, record it and uh, get video of it. Uh, we're actually going to do... Hmm, let's do oats instead of wheat. And I think this spot oops, right here is where you get your seed. I'm not sure we need to check that out. Because I know there's a spot for fertilizer in the yard. Yep, there we go. So then we also need our truck here. And then we'll get this thing loaded up with some seed. Let this guy finish loading up. There we go. So I'll just back this guy out of the way. And then we'll hop in our truck again. And get our tender trailer filled up. Alright. So let's head out and start planting. Uh, some oats. Let's uh, get our door shut. A bit quieter here in this tractor, I think. Nope. Our first field is up here a little bit further. Our next right. Yes, yes, this map does have mud. I do need to go back and uh, I do need to go into the drive control XML file and remove uh, withering from it so that way it does not get rid of the mud. Um, I do like the withering, but then again, I don't. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire up GPS here. Whoa. Not at all how I wanted that to go. Um, so we're going to get rid of the offset. And let's just get lined up here and started planting. 
and then maybe uh, GPS will line up correctly. Actually, you know what? We may not even use GPS here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and snap a screenshot here. Alright, and we'll get started on planting our oats. Let's just see if GPS is going to work now. Nope. It's not even really uh, lined up anyways, so... Oh well, whatever. A little bit of freehand planting ain't gonna kill me. See, I think this is maybe a 4X map. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a 4X. That or it just seems huge for a standard map. Which could quite possibly be as well. So, never know. We're just going to kind of go around and around since all three of these fields are going to be put into oats. So, we'll just kind of go around and around and plant it all. Uh, this map does have mostly square fields, uh, which is okay. It's still a very awesome map. Uh, right. Let's see, maybe we can get it to line up along the top here. Or not. Alright. Guess we're just not going to use GPS then. Oh well. Be nice, but, uh, oh well. Cut that power line there. So there is the decalb. I think is how you say that. The one planter's one tire is going backwards, and one tire is going forwards. Okay. And we clipped that one too. See, we are using damage mod on here as well. Figured, uh, why not? Might as well, uh, use it since I still have it in.
Hmm. Clip on this planter is a little bit wide. So let's get turned around here, and we'll uh, go along the edge here. This is a fairly large area here for these three fields. We'll have a nice area of crop. Definitely can't imagine using uh, a little tiny drill. Oh man. Alright then. Guess we'll just keep going until it uh, tells us we own it. Well, what field is that? 11? Um, how much is it? 105. Let's just buy it. There we go. Okay, so let's just back up to where we were. And I'm terrible at backing up, evidently. So I guess we'll just uh, plant 11 as well. And we'll maybe do that in a different crop. Maybe, uh... Soybeans or corn, something like that. Uh, oh, soybeans and corn are probably the main things I'm going to do on this map. Uh, may do wheat as well here and there, but it'll mostly be uh, beans, oats, and corn. It is kind of nice not having soil mod uh, because it's, you know, you can kind of do things a little bit faster, but then again, it is also nicer to have soil mod. It's a little more realistic. Uh, I could easily go in and add it, but I think I'll just play with it uh, as is. It'll be kind of nice having a soil mod map and a non-soil mod map. Got a drainage ditch here. Which is really cool. So there's definitely a lot of farms on here that you can uh, use. I just decided to use the main large one. You actually start out at a different farm uh, when you start the save game. Uh, the career start point is off at a different farm. It's off uh, up in that area someplace. Or maybe it's maybe it's over there somewhere. 
I don't know, it's somewhere up on the northern part of the map. There's going to be a lot of uh, planting here. Not using the largest of uh, cedars, but it's a neat little cedar. Now we could be using um, this little guy here. Uh, this is only... There's no way that's 12. This, this thing is pretty big but there's this little uh, 5400 drill here uh, actually I was gonna make one and so when the guy uh, put that one out uh, in his group uh, he said you know feel free to edit and whatnot whatever you want to do so I might uh, take it and redo the a you know give it AO textures because I don't think it has AOs right now but uh, give it AO textures and then re-script it uh, using, you know, creating all new scripts so that, you know, it also plows as you go. Uh, and then, um, you know, also script so that the ridge markers work and all that and make it uh, a little bit different. Uh, and then it'll be kind of a lot like the one that I was going to make. So... Um, out of the three things I was going to make, the Alice Chalmers 1500 drill, or 1500 chisel, uh, the 5400 drill, direct drill, the, and the, uh, frontier, uh, mower, uh, only one, only the 1500 chisel I have to actually completely make, uh, because, uh, in 2011, FS 2011, there was a mower exactly the same. So I'm just going to take that and make some adjustments to it and add some things to it and then give it uh, AO textures and re-script it. So, alright, there's one full round. So we will just uh, continue on another and that's mainly what it's going to be is just going around and around. So I also got uh, two of my new things, which you can maybe see sitting behind me on my dresser. Uh, I have two DCP trucks sitting back there. Uh, Peterbilt and a Kenworth, a Pete 378 and a Kenworth W900. Uh, they're really, really nice. Uh, I finally bit the bullet and went and bought a DCP truck, or two of them. Uh, I didn't notice that the trailers were actually different lengths or different sizes, I guess, uh, until I opened them. I didn't notice that on the website, but it didn't really show a whole lot of the, um, of the trailer on the website. It mostly showed the truck. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely really cool. So now I'm just waiting for the new combine and the new, the new green carts to come. We're going to add some front weights on here. Get it weighted down a little bit in the front. So we're nearing the end. Not a whole lot happened in this episode, but that's what happens, especially on first episode when you're showing off equipment. I did try recording a couple of times before. I was going to just record, you know, as soon as I started the game, or started the new save game. Uh, so, um... From basically once I started the save game, loading it up all the way 
to, you know, buying the equipment and all that stuff. So, but uh, I kept having a couple of mod issues, and so I just said, heck with it, I will just buy everything, set it all up, and then start recording. So yeah, the next video will be on Dad's farm. Uh, I'm just kind of going to go back and forth, you know, like one day will be this map, one day Dad's farm, this, Dad's, that kind of stuff. Uh, just kind of go back and forth on it. So I think I'm going to actually just end the video early a little bit. Um, that way I can get it edited and uploaded. Uh, and it's just going to be the same thing. So you won't miss a whole lot. Um, I'm not going to need to refill for a while. So um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe uh, if you like what you see. Make sure to check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias and my mod site, as well as as well as other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Uh, make sure to turn on post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. My video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time, and Saturdays at noon Central. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.